Well, spring has sprung in local orchards. Cherry and peach trees are already in full bloom way earlier than usual. So now growers are waiting to see if that will help or perhaps hurt their crops. Paula Tutman joins us now live to explain what needs to happen next. Hi, Paula. Hey, Karen, it's always a balancing act. If this happens, this has to happen. If this happens, this has to happen. But I want you to take a look at this because this is spectacular. If you can get out to northern Macomb County this weekend, this is absolutely rare. At Westview Orchards, they actually have a microclimate because of the rolling hills, and they are experiencing bloom growth they've never seen before. There's a beautiful and natural aberration in northern Macomb County this week. Rolling blossoms of cherry and peach. This year, two weeks early. In agricultural time, that's eons, because so much is temperature determined. The site is spectacular, and there's cautious optimism that the early spring and early blooms will bring a bumper crop of early fruit. These are our sweet cherries, mm -hmm. and they are in full bloom. Full bloom? Full bloom, yep, and Already. you can see there's a lot of them. Abby Jacobson, one half of the Sister Act of Westview Orchard, says the next two weekends will be critical because while the peach and cherry trees are in full bloom right now... These blooms are wide open. Beautiful. These blooms no. won't wait for the bees. Today, with the blustery cooler temperatures, the bees are in their hives, tending royalty. You just see where they're going to be making some more honey. You've got a few of them working down there. They're going, whoa, what was that chilly blast? They want the temperatures in that 60 degree in a sunny day. They like the sunshine. The trees actually started blooming two days after Easter, almost unheard of, except that horrible season in 2012. The decimation of a portion of the orchard is still visible from the year spring came too early and turned back into hard winter too fast, killing off the fruit trees. But with the abundant early blooms of 2017 and no frost in sight, knock hard cherry wood. Fingers are crossed that the yield could almost even out cherry and peach production from the older orchard. A driving tour of their historic family farm yields a lot of information of what we'll be shopping for this summer, no matter where we live. What does this mean to our dinner tables? Well, likely lower fruit and vegetable prices with high production of truly local produce, provided a Michigan frost doesn't pop up in the forecast. Knock hard cherry wood. If the temperatures aren't going to get real warm, uh, 60s and 70s, these blooms will still be on the trees. If it got really, really hot, then the blooms would be done. Yes, okay. they'd be done. Okay, so take a look at this. Every single one of these blooms is a cherry waiting to be popped into your mouth if everything holds like it is. Knock hard cherry wood. Right now, it looks really, really good. Early uh, crops like this or early blooms or blossoms like this means early fruit crops, again, could mean lower prices at the grocery store. But Karen, fingers are crossed for the next two weeks that the temperatures get a little bit higher, not too hot, and then hold. Oh, most definitely all of those orchard owners work so hard and obviously we want some good success for them as well. And what a beautiful background you have behind you, Paula. It's gorgeous. Not bad. You know, if, if you can get up here this weekend, this is the weekend to come and see this. Definitely worth checking it out. All right. Thank you, Paula. You have a good weekend.